I started Send a Smile today in 2013 because I wanted to help other people going through cancer. And receiving a card meant so much to me and helped give me support. I want to provide that support to other people. This is me, Kim Whitehouse, in March of 2011, having a blast with my family in Disney World. Little did I know that my life would forever change one week later. You have cancer are three words no one ever wants to hear. My six-year-old daughter asked, am I going to get it too? Those nine months of cancer treatments were the hardest days of my life. I was the lucky one. I found my cancer early. Receiving a card in the mail meant so much to me. It provided me great hope and inspiration. And I want to provide the same thing to others. Cancer can be very isolating and very lonely. The mission of Send a Smile today is to let cancer patients know that they are never alone by sending them caring cards in the mail on a regular basis from time of cancer diagnosis through treatment to survivorship. We fund our organization with donations of handmade cards, store-bought cards, blank white envelopes, forever stamps, and monetary donations. We have 10 people that were re are receiving cards from us on a monthly basis. We just launched our website July 1st, where anybody can go on sendasmiletoday.org and sign somebody they know that's going through cancer up to receive cards. And they can choose, like they just wanna send a card one time or they can send it for like a three, six, nine or 12 month period. And they can cancel at any time that they want to. Um, we have received nearly 1,200 forever stamps and we've received about 800 homemade cards and envelopes and we receive those from lots of different organizations like Girl Scouts, um, religious organizations, we have some companies that have held, like they have their dance recitals and afterwards they do card making events and we've gotten really good feedback on there's a lot of groups out there that want to help people and this is a great opportunity because it's something that easy they can they can get kids together um, in a room and make cards and that's fun because then you get to spend time with your friends while making a big impact in other people's lives as well. Okay, well I um, I'm a stay-at-home mom of four kids, uh, Brayden, Brett, Leah, and Russell, and. Um, my husband and I have been married for, oh, 17 years. So that's, that's what I, I stay at home. I enjoy staying at home with my kids. Well, I am 14. I live in Chadwick, Illinois. I have an older brother and two parents, and I'm going to be a freshman this year. Uh, my name is Kim Whitehouse, and I am uh, married to my husband, Alan, and we have two children. I have a nine-year-old daughter named Ansley, and I have a 12-year-old son named Jacob. Hey, I'm Susan Israelson, and I'm a longtime Young Women's Leader and a longtime Girls Camp person. I love to go to Girls Camp, and I'm happy to say that I just I'm just celebrating my 57th birthday. I'm excited about that. And I'm the mother of three grown children, and I have five grand, I have five grandchildren, and I have ovarian cancer. Um, I found out July of 2012, so it's been two years. Um, I found a lump myself in my breast, and. Um, was actually on a Saturday and actually had a year appointment with my doctor on Monday and she confirmed the lump. Um, and within the week we had the diagnosis of cancer and um, the diagnosis of sorry, the diagnosis of cancer and um, and then it just went a little bit crazy from there. It was April 19th of 2011 and um, I got the call from my doctor. He actually left me a voicemail. And you know, if your doctor leaves you a voicemail to call him back on his cell phone, the answer probably isn't going to be a good thing. So um, I talked to my doctor, it was April 19th, and I describe it as the very worst day of my life. Well, it was actually last year, about June 1st, I became ill. And the actual day I found out cancer 
what I, I remember for sure because I woke up that morning thinking, you know, if I felt better today, I'd be on my way to girls camp. <laughs> and I wasn't feeling well. And that morning we got a call from the doctor that I'd been seeing results and he said, the results of your tests are good. Um, they found a tumor in your pelvis and they found evidence of cancer in your liver and problems with your kidney, you know, related to these things. And, you know, I found out that I had cancer and I just, you know, when I found that out, I just kind of took a deep breath. I remember taking a deep breath and saying, okay, and I processed it for a moment and said, okay, what do we need to do next? I just felt like that was what I had to say. What, what do I do next? What, what do we do to, to, to fight this? I was shaking and I was crying and I was so upset. Um, it was, I was scared and I was frightened for myself, for my kids, and um, I didn't know if I was gonna die, to be honest, and it, it was frightening. I felt overwhelmed. I really did feel overwhelmed, but I just, I felt determined that I was going to, to you know, do everything I could to beat cancer and to, you know, to get past it. I'm not sad, I'm not fun to be diagnosed with a serious disease. It was almost a peaceful feeling. I knew um, what it was and what it would take to, to, um, to get through the situation. I put complete trust in Heavenly Father that he would direct me with the correct doctors and surgeons and, and he did. He did. changed from going to the doctor once a year to going to doctors nonstop. Um, knowing that I would go from having hair at the one, you know, during the summertime to um, not having hair was tough. But my life changed. Um, it brought our family close together, and, and I'm grateful for that. Um, I also now learn to cherish every single day. Every day is a new day, and I never take any day for granted. Um, and the last way that it changed is I, I have just a strong desire to help other people going through cancer. I want to help them. Um, it was a big change because I was stuck in the hospital, never really been in a hospital. And I was spending all of my time just trying to pretty much to stay alive and to do the best that I could. So. It was right, right away, like it, when I first was diagnosed, I kept it to myself. I didn't really tell people. And so I guess as my friends and family told people, I started getting cards in the mail from people that were finding out, and it, they were very comforting. Um, when I was first diagnosed, I had spent 10 days in the hospital, and I think I got so many cards then. Um, I first began receiving cards right after I was diagnosed. Cards from people at church, cards from um, family members, and and I loved receiving cards. I, I did. I, I enjoyed receiving cards. When I found out my diagnosis, I sent out a mass email to family and friends. You know, in return, I got a lot of cards and I got a lot of emails and a lot of texts. It was amazing. I mean, I got this huge outpouring of, you know, how can we help? You know, I can be there for you. And it was wonderful. Well, I did receive a really neat card. Anyway. But I got this card from Good Wishes. And I opened it up, and it was just full of personalized notes to me, you know, saying, you know, we're praying for you, we're rooting for you, stay strong, Susan, you can do it. And I opened up the card, and I just burst into tears. And, you know, I don't know these people, but I'm so grateful to them. They were just, it was such a wonderful thing to get. It's nice when you receive a card. It makes you think that other people are are actually taking the time to think about you. When you're stuck at home because you feel so miserable 
and you isolate yourself because you just feel gross because you don't have your hair or for whatever reason, and then to have somebody just tell you about their normal day, that's what you want, you just want to be normal. Oh, I love the cards I get from little kids, like this one and this one. Uh, I had a lot of favorite cards. <laughs> um, um, anything inspirational, anything that talked about courage, um, just stick with it, you're doing a great job, those kind of cards really helped me remain focused and positive and to take one day at a time. But I also love the homemade cards that I got from friends' kids who would make me cards. I mean, those were so meaningful because I know that a child took their time to, to draw that and write something to me, which I really appreciated. One of the cards that I received was, um, when you get older, there's lots of cards that joke about having um, sag saggy boobs. Can I say that? And, <laughs> and so I got a card that cro was crossed off and saying, you'll never have to deal with this. <laughs> so it was, that was one of my favorite cards is because no one really wants, no one knows when you're going through a treatment like this, whether or not they can make a joke. And um, a lot of times you do have to just have a sense of humor and joke about things. So that was, that was a fun card to receive. Yeah, it gave me some encouragement. I do, yeah. I, I felt when I would get a card, I never felt alone. I felt encouraged, felt supported by other people. And I felt like I wasn't in this by myself. I felt like I had a whole group of supporters helping me through it. My kids were the best at sending me just a little card. They'd make a little card, fold it up, and always on my pillow, they always said, you are beautiful. and. And I think that at the time when you're going through treatments like this, just those words on a card are um, mean a lot. Mean a lot. Um, it'll be a good thing. It'll make people happy. It will impact them greatly. I believe. I think. Um, I think just knowing that someone else has taken some time to think about them. Um, to write them a note of encouragement or strength um, will help lift and brighten their day and know that they, um, they will go on, that people do think about them and do care about them. I think anytime someone sends you something though that you can hold in your hand and that you can look at and read and, you know, feel their love and support, um, just you know, something you can hold on to like this. It just makes you feel so much better. And I think that the people receiving the cards from Send a Smile today, I think they'll have a similar experience that I had, knowing that when I got the cards, how much they meant to me and they helped me. And I, I believe that those people, when they receive the cards, will have that same feeling. And we, I think that the cards will provide them, the, give them hope that they can make it through one more day. I think they can provide the love, knowing that other people care about them, and support to know that they're never alone in their battle with cancer.